so I'm Amy and I'm gonna go and talk through my community experience that I had this semester. Um, so my initial thoughts going into the class and doing all these hours were um, how am I gonna talk in front of people because I'm a very nervous person and I don't like the attention. Um, stressed about how I was gonna balance everything with clinic and all my other classes and things like that. And then I also thought like, I don't know where I'm gonna find these places and everything like that. So it was pretty, I was very nervous going into this and having to think about what I was gonna do and speaking and everything, so. Okay, so early childhood, I went to Jones Elementary first. Um, so with this presentation that we did, it was a little hectic, so First of all, we did have to reschedule our initial day because when we got there, we didn't know that they were doing star testing. So um, they wouldn't or they didn't allow visitors on campus at that time just because it could get loud and disrespect or um, interrupt other students that were testing. So we rescheduled it for the next uh, Wednesday. And then at this presentation, we kind of split up me and my group. So Bella, she was reading a book to the kids. I was teaching them how to brush and then Jen was um, doing a little coloring with them. So the kids were really full of energy and very hyper and things like that. It was pretty fun though. They were all interactive and pretty engaged. So I really liked this experience. I would probably go back to the school. They were, even though they were full of energy, they were really well behaved, so. And then we went to a daycare, finding our other hour for, or finding my other hour for Early childhood was very hard just because um, of time and things like that. So we went to Crunch Daycare and this was very last minute. Um, we didn't have any consent forms for the kids. We didn't really take any pictures and things like that. So that was kind of a little bummer, but that's okay. So for this one, we just kind of showed them, we were talking about uh, teaching and things like that. So we had our mouth model. We showed them some pictures of like oral cavity and things like that. Um, mostly we were just kind of showing them how to brush with everything and because this was a like a gym daycare the kids were just coming and going and then as we got like a new set of kids we just kind of showed them the same thing and then we just did that for our whole presentation and then for young adults um, so we went to TJ Gorman and we talked to the sixth grade class so for this one right here we did have a late start because whenever we went, it was literally pouring down rain. So the kids were in another building and they had to get transportation to like the main campus where we were. So that was, we had like a 15 minute late start, which was okay. But yeah, we were, it wasn't too bad. Um, the kids, they were pretty talkative, you know, sixth graders. So it was pretty, it wasn't too bad. They were pretty interactive. You know, they knew a lot of what we were talking about. So it was pretty fun. Um, And then for my other young adult, um, I went, we went to a church, we went to Our Lady Guadalupe Church. Um, this one was really cool actually, it's actually a really big building, which I couldn't really tell from the outside. So we, um, we went during like church services and things like that, and during the services they actually had kids or different classrooms going on for the kids, so they kind of split up onto different um, areas of education with which they're, for which uh, they were learning, so that was pretty cool. So we, there was a lot of us that went. There was a lot of classrooms there. There was probably like 14 plus, and they all had quite a uh, quite a bit of kids in there. So we all split up um, into, and we were just teaching them how to brush properly. So we taught them how to do baths and charters. Some of them had braces and things like that. Um, this one was a little bit more difficult because most of them were like Spanish speaking. And I'm not the most fluent, so, but we made it work and most of them, or some of them spoke English, so we just communicated that way, so. This one was pretty cool. And then for geriatrics, geriatric was probably the most interesting one that we went, or that I went to. So we went to the Tyler, or I went to Tyler Senior Center. This one was also like a really late um, find just because the students I was going with had an, an, another initial place set up, but they canceled last minute, so um, they were scrambling just to find somewhere else, and he found, or he found this one, so, um, yeah, so this one we had a few, like, obstacles to kind of go through, so the first one was, they didn't have a projector, so it was, we couldn't show, like, our slideshow or anything like that, because we were just kind of talking out loud to them, um, but there was a lot more people than we expe expected, so we did, like, run out of supplies for everybody, so. Um, but we just kind of talked to them about oral health and like dental care and things like that. Um, and then another thing that we experienced during this presentation was uh, 
I mean, we started talking and they couldn't hear. So we were having to yell a little bit, but then they still couldn't hear. So they literally brought out a microphone and they gave it to us so we could talk. So um, that was pretty funny, but overall it was a good experience. Um, we gave them a handout about oral care and how to like brush and floss and provide um, dental care. So. And then interprofessional. So interprofessional is probably the hardest to find just because everywhere that I called or um, got in contact to, we couldn't really like schedule it so it would work out on both ends. Um, so this one was definitely the hardest to find, but um, luckily we found or we got a contact through a friend and we went to present to nurses at the hospital, specifically the cardiovascular ICU unit. So it kind of worked out because we talked about the link between cardio and uh, cardiovascular conditions and periodontal disease. So specifically, we talked about angina pectoris and then coronary heart disease, and we just kind of um, talked about the relationship that they have and then like the care for like the nurses and how they um, give it to their patients. And they thought it was really um, informational, things like that, because they have um, patients that stay there for a long period of time, so they're the ones kind of caring for their oral health. So this one was a pretty good presentation. And then for special needs, so this was my target population and I went to Children's Village. Um, I did a lot of research about different areas here in um, like the Tyler area. I didn't really get too many calls back or like um, a hard confirmation to go to anywhere, so I found this one, so that was really nice. I called quite a few places and this is the one where I kind of picked. Um, so this place was, um, so uh, they were founded in 1980 and their goal was to help kids that were neglected or abused or homeless. Um, it's kind of more on the smaller side. It's like a hidden location. You really don't know too much about it unless you're actually like looking it up. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, the way they have it set up is they have like two housing units and currently they had five kids that were living there. Um, three in one house, two in the other. So I got in contact with them. We scheduled, we did have to do like a last minute scheduling with them just because they had some type of emergency, so I went like the following week, which was totally fine. Um, there was only five kids, so it wasn't like too crazy of a crowd to present to, which was really nice. So I just had some goodie bags for them. I had a PowerPoint. Also couldn't figure out how to put it on the TV, so we just kind of like grouped together around a table and I was just showing them um, through my computer, which kind of worked out since there was only five kids, so it wasn't too bad. And the kids were really sweet, super talkative. There was one kid specifically that was asking questions throughout the whole presentation, so that made it fun. So yeah, they were actually pretty informational or like smart about oral health. They took their pre-test and post-test and they did pretty good on it. So I think in the future, I'll probably just talk about different topics or kind of reword it in a way um, so that it, uh, so they, where they kind of like, I don't know, I'm teaching them more about oral health, so. Um, then I have some pictures from my presentation. It was really a big um, location. They had a playground for them. The schoolhouse is where I went to go present and they kind of use that for different presentations from like guest speakers and things like that. And then little, my little stuff that I have there. And then another special needs place that I went to was Faith in Action. I really like this one. It's probably one of my favorites. Um, it's a nonprofit organization and they just help those in need in like the Malakoff area and things like that. Um, they offered like counseling over there, like they had little um, cubicles where they would counsel the people. They had a bunch of food and a little like bed clothing and like personal hygiene items for them and things like that. So they had quite a bit to offer for the people. Um, the workers there were really, really sweet. They actually had like personal experiences going through situations like this. So. Um, so now they, they're there to like offer those services to other people. So um, yeah, we just kind of were there. We were talking about clinical service or our clinic services and things like that to the people, um, talking about oral health and we're passing out toothbrush and toothpaste. So we really like, I really like this place. Um, we had, I actually went there twice, so. And then extra hours. So for my extra, I went to a healthcare in Gilmer. This one was pretty cool. So there's a bunch of like other healthcare organizations and things like that. Um, we were just talking about our clinic services and just um, offering that to people that came up to us. We had a bunch of toothbrushes and pamphlets and things like that. Um, yeah, this one was pretty fun. And then 
after going through all this and talking to people, um, I see the benefit of educating people in um, oral health just because a lot of them are just not aware and they don't receive the care um, and things like that. It did allow me a lot to go out of my comfort zone just because I'm not a presenter so I don't like talking in front of people, but um, it wasn't too bad. Um, and then it was very like eye-opening to see people who actually need care and things like that. I think the only thing I would really change about how I went about it was definitely taking more pictures at my um, presentation, things like that, just so I could have added it to my portfolio. But yeah, that's my experience.